property have a, qu a question from Facebook. Jay is asking, I must admit that I would be happy if I just knew the name of the tablet that Sal uses to present. That is the biggest challenge when teaching remotely. I cannot tell you how many times teachers have said, if only we had tablets like Sal uses. All right, well, I will tell you the name of the tablet. I actually have it right over here. And I'm not normally about product endorsement, so I'm not sure if this is the best tablet out there or what, but it's definitely met my needs. So let's see, this is the Intuos Pro Medium pen tablet. I think it costs 100 or $200. It looks like this, and it will come with a pen that whoops i'm pressing buttons on i hope i'm not just gonna <laughs> it comes with a pen that looks like this this camera is kind of a, a reverse mode so there you go so that is the tablet and you don't you know i think the cost really increases as you go from the small to the medium to the large uh, for many years at khan academy i had the small version which was i think was like 70 dollars uh, and you can go pretty far with that uh, so yeah, hopefully uh, that is useful. And obviously this is useful. Tablets like this are useful for making Khan Academy style videos. And I actually use a tablet like that with a pen and I use Camtasia to record my screen. And this is the microphone that I have. This is a Samson. And once again, I'm sure there's other good microphones. Let's see. C Samson CO3U. I just realized it wouldn't make do much uh, good if I'm uh, reading the model number uh, when my mouth is on the other side of the microphone. Uh, but but you know just with that and Camtasia, you can make exactly the types of videos I make. And obviously, this is useful uh, for all of y'all who are also doing live Zoom or Google Hangout type sessions as well, because you can share your screen and then use your art program. Oh, and I use um, Sketchbook Pro for the art program. Uh, but you could use others. Uh, I like to just use something that's quite responsive. Some some of the art programs that get super fancy, there's a little bit of a lag and that bothers me. Uh, so that's what I try to do. And I, I've actually, I've been working with some teachers uh, running some live sessions as well. And so I use the exact same tools for that where I can share my screen and share the art program. I will say a, a low tech hack for the live sessions. And actually in theory, you could do this for your videos as well is, you know, those, those small whiteboards that we have students do their problem on. You can literally just have one of those and write with a, with a marker i've actually found that to be reasonably good especially for the, the the kind of the live sessions when you're trying to work with students